with the effort and physicality there. And, um, and then again, we got in a lot of first and second down situations and then uh, third and longs and third and medium and then, you know, four down territory stuff. And, uh, and again, there was, there was a lot to be excited about and a lot to correct and we got a long way to go to be a, you know, a good football team, certainly a good defense, you know, and uh, so, uh, but our guys got a great attitude and, and uh, have really been, you know, busting their rears, you know, both in the film room and out here on the field. How important is a guy like Mike Jones Jr. in your plans this year? Yeah, I mean, he's, we're, we're counting on him and uh, I think he's excited. He's been working incredibly hard, putting a lot of extra time on his own. Uh, you know, mentally and physically, and you know, had a nice uh, showing out there today. Really, I was uh, pleased with you know the progress that he's made, and he's been paying attention and working hard, kind of laying in the weeds, uh, if you will. And uh, he's got a sense of urgency about him, and and a coachability. He's got a good skill set, and uh, and really can do multiple things. You know, it's not just you know one position for him, but. Uh, he, he, he did well out there today and has looked good so far. You mentioned sense of urgency. Are you seeing the same thing out of Xavier this year at the start of spring ball? Yeah, yeah. He's got a, he's got a good attitude and uh, he's got a good awareness about where he is, what he needs to do to, to make improvement and be a leader and, and to be accountable and all those things. So uh, he's, done a, he's done a good job come, coming back with the right mindset. Was he disappointing to you and the other coaches at all last year? I think maybe just from the outside, I think maybe more was expected of him as maybe oh, as far yeah. as a breakout yeah. type of year. I don't know. You know, I don't look at the breakout years, you know, and all that, but, uh, you know, he's just a young player, you know, and uh, thought he had a lot of good moments last year and he got banged up and got a concussion. It's hard, man. You miss, you know, three weeks of practice. That's hard. So, uh, on anybody. So, uh, um, but we are pretty good on defense last year and he was a starter and I don't know how many games he started. Anybody know? Nine. Yeah, I was going to say seven or eight. Maybe oh, we were, <laughs> thought we were pretty good on defense, you know. And, uh, so he was, he doesn't have to, you know, be Superman. He just needs to do his part. And he, he must have done that or somebody, everybody would have found him. And they would have exploited him if he, if he hadn't been. So he did a great job last year. Coach, those freshman defensive uh, linemen, uh, mm -hmm. Brzee, Murphy, Cape Hart, I'm sure they've got a lot to learn still, but how much fun is it just getting your hands on them, especially with some experience in front of them this year? Yeah, I mean, I know uh, uh, Coach Hall and Coach uh, Bates, uh, <clears throat> you know, they get the, they get their hands on them a little more than I do. But, uh, man, they're big three, big, strong, athletic, uh, smart, tough uh, guys. They know how to compete and um, very coachable. And they've been working really hard to uh, learn to know what to do and how to do it. And um, they've all had their moments where they look, you know, uh, really, really good. And, and then some other moments where, again, they're still learning just, again, what to do, uh, like you would expect. But uh, got great motors and great skill. And, and uh, you know, they're going to have to help us. Some of the guys out at cornerback, has Sheridan Jones really kind of stepped up and caught your eye? Yeah, Sheridan, Sheridan's done well. He's had a good uh, spring and is a much different spot than where he was a year ago. He's stronger and uh, wiser and um, playing with really good fundamentals and technique. So he's made you know the improvement in the right spots. Your thoughts on Fred and it's being that he's getting more reps? Yeah, probably he's long. He's, yeah, he's, he's head spinning if uh, you ask him, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, Fred's done good. He's uh, he loves to compete. And he's always ready to go, and uh, just learning how to practice and learn what to do. And he's getting again baptized. You know, we we split it up and have two skellies going on at once. I think we got uh, three, maybe three scholarship corners that are healthy right now, and uh, so he's getting a bunch of reps. But uh, Fred's fun to be around. And he's got a great attitude and and uh, really hard worker. With uh, Nolan Turner out for the spring, that's your, your top four safeties from last year gone. Um, you still feel pretty good about the, those guys that are coming back and the competition there at safety? Yeah, I and mean, we got a lot of work to do. I mean, we lost a lot of really good players there. You just don't snap your fingers, and, and you know, uh, guys just, you know, every bit is good. You know, I mean, we got a lot of work to do, a lot of experience to gain. You do that through practice, through film study, through failure, through success, and uh, got a long ways to go. But uh, it's a a good group of guys as far as talent, uh, instincts, uh, length, speed, athletic ability, and uh, just just got to got to get experience. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so uh, you know we're uh, 
as coaches, we're, you know, we got a sense of desperation. We got to find a way to get them ready, you know, mentally, uh, you know, get them to know what to do, you know, consistently and uh, trying guys at different spots and in different situations and really trying to really, really learn more about, you know, their strengths and weaknesses, what they can and can't do. And uh, this is the time of year to do that. Tony mentioned Miles Murphy as a guy that's mm-hmm. really flashed him. What have, what have you seen from him so far? He's just, you know, the game's slow for him. Uh, you know, all things considered, right. and just comparing apples to apples, the game's slow. He's been, been very well coached. He comes with really good fundamentals, knows how to play low and with leverage. Um, very explosive. He's long. Uh, you know, he's not only got good linear speed, but good lateral movement and quickness. And he sees things fast. You know, uh, I would say like Christian Wilkins could see the game fast. And a lot of times you want, you don't want guys to see too much, but some guys just naturally, uh, you know, they can see a lot, but they, they still do their job well. And uh, again, he's got a, so we got a lot of work to do there, but those are some things that jumped out. He's strong. Um, I don't know what his weight room strength is. Um, I haven't really asked the strength coaches there, but um, he plays strong. You know, he's a good, strong point of attack guy, which again, for, for some freshmen, they're not able to do that. Uh, that's something that comes on a little later rather than sooner, but that's been good as well. I think he's uh, got some natural ability as a pass rusher, um, really athletic and flip his hips. So. Uh, we're pleased with with Miles. How about Breezy? How's he? How's he been? Yeah, that's I know good. He, you know, he's missed a couple days right, uh, right away. Yeah. Maybe playing basketball or something, but um, you know, he's just what you thought. You know, he's uh, high energy, high effort. You know, big time motor. Uh, he's got a humility about him. Um, you know, he's trying to learn from the other uh, other guys, and the older guys are doing a good job. You know, Niles isn't able to be out there, but he's doing a good job. Jordan is. Uh, Tyler's an older guy, uh, you know, as well. But um, you know, everybody uh, is trying to help him too. And um, uh, he's done a really good job. Had a good paw drill today, and just learning how to play the game and getting some fundamentals down. And, and he's well coached. He's got a good uh, set of fundamentals too. And uh, some things you can get away with, some things you can't. And so he's learning, learning that. He's got some big, strong, athletic guys that he's going against on the offensive line and know how to play the game and uh, hand placement, footwork, and all that. So that'll come, too. Uh, again, he's a, he's a worker. He's a grinder. Chris Sweeney yeah. was saying the other day he was pleased with uh, your son Tyler at safety. Mm-hmm. What, what's it like having Tyler on the team now with Jake? Uh, it's good. You know, it's fun. They've been out there on the field together at times, and so that's been fun uh, working both nickel and free. <clears throat> you know, he played, uh, you know, some, he started at Daniel as, you know, his whole freshman year at safety. So he has a little bit of familiarity with that, but it takes a little time if you've been Playing quarterback to get learn how to backpedal and line up to formations and read keys and all that, but he's very instinctive, plays fast, very very physical, and a really really quick learner. After a, a trial by fire freshman year, what's the, what's Tyler Davis's ceiling this year? What do you expect from him? Uh, you know, if he played every bit as good as he played last year, that's what you want. I mean, he played outstanding, uh, as consistent of a football player as we had on our defense last year. Uh, made all the plays he was supposed to make, uh, and um, you know, just was a just a great example in how you work, how you prepare, uh, mature beyond his years, uh, ultra physical, and um, you know, we want to develop you know more as a pass rusher, winning more one on ones, and um, you know, become a, a leader. He's a quiet guy by nature, you know, that's fine as well. But get him to come out of a shell a little bit, and uh, just be you know, don't have the sophomore slump if there is such a thing. Uh, and, I, and he won't, you know, I, I can say that without reservation, you know, just a very uh, serious about his about his business and he's always ready to go. What did you make of the show Isaiah put on at the combine? Yeah, it was great. Uh, no surprise. Um, you know, the bigger the stakes, the bigger the moment, you know, the better Isaiah was. That's who he's been since he's been here and uh, very proud of him and um, proud of all those guys. Uh, they all got there and, you know, particularly the defensive guys, the guys that uh, I watched those guys, you know, and uh, Tanner and Kayvon and AJ. Um, you know, also, it reminded me of that they're not here anymore uh, if they did anything. Uh, gosh, but really proud of them just to see their growth and, you know, being able to live out their dreams and us being able to kind of be a fly on the wall, you know, watching the TV to, to watch them chase their dreams. That was really pretty humbling for, for, you know, for me personally as a coach. 
and uh, you know, just messaging back and forth with them and their families to kind of share in that moment uh, with them. So uh, pretty cool stuff, and you know, they're all going to have incredible success. You know, you know, when the football field uh, is no longer their their home, they'll they'll have great success too. Very mature guys that that really squeezed every ounce of their experience that they could at college and are well prepared for what's next. Have the linebackers that came in last year made the progression that you wanted to see? Yeah, so um, <laughs> Kane has and, you know, he's been limited because of the, he's got a, a scaphoid or something going on in his wrist, so, but he's tough. He's doing everything that he can other than the live work and the pressing. So he's done really good. And, and um, Keith and uh, Vontae uh, have, have, have been grinding and uh, they're running in there with uh, that second group rotating some and, and making plays. They're physical, playing faster, learning from some mistakes. And happens really fast now. And now that you're in there, of course, none of those guys were here a year ago in the spring. So this is their first time to really slow down and get a ton of reps. Even you know, in fall camp, you're just not getting that kind of you know repetitions that you would if you're here in spring ball. So uh, they're having, they're, you know, showing some again. Uh, uh, just having a lot of time to, in the film room, it, it shows. Uh, they most most part know what to do, and, and uh, again, learn from some of their mistakes. But a uh, great group of guys that can run and hit, and uh, very tough and very committed. Yeah, but said Scalski stood out stood out the other day like a different, mm -hmm. like he's taking another level. Yeah. Have you seen that too? Yeah, just uh, you know, even more of a leader. Um, the games, just having all that experience, 15 games under his belt. Um, <coughs> Game has really slowed down for him, and and uh, playing just very precise, you know, in everything that he's doing. And uh, he was playing multiple positions right now, and can do it all at a really high level. You know, does so gives us helps create some depth there, you know, so that uh, if somebody gets banged up, you know, he can do more than one thing. But I've uh, really, been really pleased with Jamie and his leadership and how he's playing right now. Now starting year two, removed from his red shirt, are you happy mm -hmm. with the strides that KJ is making it? Uh, yeah, the he's, he's put on, again, just leaned up even more and <clears throat> you know just put on the right kind of size and strength and uh, the experience for him was great and, and uh, uh, we spent a lot of time in the month that we had to really look at the things that we didn't do well as a defense and uh, even when we might have made the play, how can we make it better? And, um, and there's so much of that. Because if you looked at just the end result, you know, we played really good defense, but there's so much that we can be better at. And uh, I can't say that enough. And uh, with our footwork and our pad level and our eyes and just striking and knocking people back and and really, you know, our challenge to our defense as a whole. Um, of course, we've got a lot of work to do with our back seven. I mean, a lot. And um, and then up front, you know, reestablishing ourselves, you know, from a defensive line standpoint. And uh, you know, we need to be able to overwhelm people, and uh, we need to be able to knock people back. And uh, when the game is on the line, that's a group we need to hang our hat on. So the challenge has been made, and uh, a lot of work to do uh, to get to that point where you feel uh, like we can, again, go overwhelm people. And, um, and it starts with attitude, and it's fundamentals, and it's being physical. How with that back seven is Landon Xander's one of the guys you're looking towards to make that step up. Yeah, point. has to. I mean, you just can't like find guys off the street. He's a guy with not. I say that he's got to be a guy. That group of guys, they got to come through and feel great about them. Um, Coach Khan's done a great job of getting them uh, in a, in a, to a point where they can go compete, know what to do, and and uh, but with the skill set is there. Uh, we've got again length and instincts and, and good speed. Guys can cover. Uh, we feel like you know uh, we got good range, so we can. We're not limited in what we can do uh, in the back end. And um, again, a group of guys that are very coachable. Uh, they put in a lot of work so far. They show they've up to this point have showed a willingness to. You guys have work on your craft on your own too. You know we only, we're, we only get so much time. So uh, you know we can't want the success for them more than they want it for themselves. And so there's a you know there's a. Uh, if you're about the right stuff, you know you'll do whatever it takes. And uh, so, so far, it's been a group of guys that are, you know, very willing to, to, to put the time in. You know, because you got to put the time in. You know, you can't just show up and, by osmosis, become a good player. You got to really grind, and it's got to go well beyond the, the practice field, and the weight room, and the film room, and all the extras, and, you know, just making good decisions socially. All those things play a part in that, and we've been blessed. Uh, for the most part, to have guys that haven't been distracted and that are willing to put the work in, and 
and, and then again, stick to it. When success doesn't happen right away, you have a bad day, you know, come back and fight harder, you know, and that's what it's all about. And the guys that can do that, the teams that can do that, uh, at the end of the at the end of the, the spring, at the end of the summer, you know, you're gonna have a chance to, to win a bunch of games. So that's leadership, that's finding a role, that's finding an identity and all those kind of things. Right now, we're really just trying to get better at the fundamentals and understanding what we do. We're rolling a lot of guys in and out uh, at all three levels. And, um, you know, chemistry and cohesion and uh, the reestablishment, if you will, that will take place over time, you know. it's. Uh, Anticipate, you know, annoying anybody, you know, by the end of the spring. To be honest, it's a process, and uh, it's a commitment, and um, it's consistency. And um, but uh, it's exciting. Like I said, it's a, it's a really again a, a talented group of guys that uh, have a humility about them, and so far seems to have a toughness about them because uh, it's tough what we ask them to do. How about Xavier's progression? Uh, Xavier Thomas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, again, he's. He seems to be playing faster. Uh, again, I just so hard. Today was our first day of really live work, you right. know, and it's still situational. So, you know, first down, and get whatever they get, and then you go first down again, and whatever they get, you know, you're really trying to hold people under four yards, have an awareness about, you know, defensively, if you hold them under four yards, you'll, per play, you know, you're going to be a top five defense in the country. And that's, that's outstanding defense. And so, Really trying to get them to focus on, on first and ten or P and ten situations, and you know it matters. They catch a stick route, you know, and you hit them at three, and then they fall forward for five. You know, I stink as a defensive coordinator on second and five, and getting them to understand how hard it is to play good defense in second and four, second and five all day, and uh, you know it makes a big difference. Third and one's a heck of a lot different than third and four, third and five, or third and five is different than third and nine. And uh, so anyway. Uh, to answer your question about Xavier, you know, you know then we have the all third and tens, you know, then it's all third and ones where we, we want to see what guys can do, you know, within the flow. But he, he's done good. Um, he's done well. Uh, he's playing fast and playing physical and, you know, playing within the confines of the defense and uh, doing all the little things that we're asking him to do so far. Going back to Mike Jones, what do you all specifically like about his skill set? Uh, he's, he's, got, he's got twitch. He's, he's physical. Uh, he's got good top end speed, you know, good linear speed, um, but he's got good quickness too. Uh, he's got a savviness about him. He understands football. Uh, his dad played in the NFL for a good long while, and um, so he's got good bloodlines. And sometimes that translates, sometimes it doesn't, you know. Uh, but uh, he's uh, got a good football IQ. He's got tremendous pride. He's super coachable. Uh, he pays attention. Uh, he's got a humility about him. So. You know, he didn't have his lips stuck out, you know, watching Isaiah play in front of him. He tried to learn and be a sponge, and he admired and respected Isaiah. And sure, he wanted his time, but uh, he really valued having an opportunity to learn from Isaiah. And um, just a great teammate, and really good student, and, uh, you know, he's a very committed guy. And um, he's, he, he's a hard worker, you know, got a fa fabulous work ethic, and, and uh, so, and again, so far, it's looked really good. How hard was that LSU game to get over? And where did that offense rank in terms of? You know, uh, they're, they're, they, you know, the execution, the precision that they force you to play with. You know, you gotta, you gotta make plays. You gotta, you know, you gotta. Uh, if you make mistakes when you play against really good, explosive people, they'll make you pay. And uh, mistakes as a play caller, uh, mistakes uh, in, a, in a leverage, uh, mistakes. Situationally, third and 19. Um, you know, we played great in the red zone all year and had our worst game. You know, just made too many critical errors, and again, they made us pay. You know, for some critical red zone mistakes, and so those are that's painful when you know. Again, and, and our guys played really hard, and we played really well in some spots and uh, in a lot of spots. And but the explosive plays uh, that uh, I think we had, we had five uh, plays that we gave up uh, on missed tackles, you know. Um, and um, that was a that was a season high for, for explosive plays on, on missed tackles. Um, but they executed, you know, I'd executed us in some other spots. And, um, you know, uh, again, to just I'm, I'm stating the obvious in some of this, but uh, it's very it's very painful to get there. Um, 
and come up short. You know, those opportunities, it may never happen again. You know, that's, that's the reality. And um, so you never take that for granted. That's first and foremost, and how incredibly hard and fortunate you have to be to get there. And, um, you know, uh, you felt like you're good enough. You certainly weren't good enough on that night. The better team won. And, um, but I, I'm super proud of our guys and our football team. Uh, you know, I've played in, coached, played in plenty of games where you, you're not, you know, as proud as you'd like to be. And, uh, you know, very, very proud of our guys and, and uh, for the effort that they put into it. And, you know, we had some opportunities in the game and, and uh, we just, you know, we couldn't flip it when we needed to, you know, as, as a team. And uh, you got to, you got to be able to help each other, you know. And uh, we just, you know, you, again, momentum, you know, third and 19, third and 10 in the third quarter, you know, it gets on the screen and we don't, we come underneath the block instead of outside and up the sideline it goes. And just one of those nights when we, you know, for all the good that we did, we were on the, we were on the wrong side of it against a really, really hot team. Is that, loss, is that loss ever brought up at, out, at all out here in the early going of spring yeah. practice? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I think that you bring stuff up like that. I mean, we I think there might have been some stuff uh, during mat drills up there. We don't need to, you know, everybody that was a part of it knows exactly what happened. And, uh, you know, if, if you went out there and, and, and you look like a bunch of chumps and, uh, you know, we didn't play with effort and we played you know, like a bunch of meatheads and coached and didn't have our team prepared, then you'd, you'd be ashamed, you know, to uh, represent yourself that way. But that, that couldn't be further from, you know, uh, the case. So uh, you don't need to say a whole lot. And again, that was last year. This is a new team. A lot of those players are gone. We'll never play here again. So you start your journey, you know, completely over, like everything, uh, both good and bad. You try to learn from your experiences. And uh, you try to share in some of those uh, experiences with maybe guys that didn't play. Uh, but, you know, I, I thought our guys were you know, very well prepared. I thought they had a great mindset. And uh, again, they played with incredible passion and effort and toughness and uh, were physical. And, and uh, again, just got beat by a better team. So, uh, you know, we beat ourselves up enough. I know us as coaches probably do. Uh, but, you know, you know, when you experience it, you don't need to. Uh, there's nothing to have to reinforce. On a lighter note, uh, Coach Coach Sweeney has created a culture of family here, mm -hmm. as evidenced when you first walked in. Yeah. Um, what have you seen over the years um, since you've been here in terms of the, the culture that he's created in that regard? I uh, just, you know, we attract, you know, a lot of like-minded people from that standpoint that value, uh, you know, the values that, you know, Coach Sweeney has in, in place here. Again, family, structure, discipline, accountability, uh, you know, I think it's well known. Coach likes to have fun. It's very important to him that our players have a great college experience. And, uh, you know, all the while as they're, they're growing up, you know, trying to teach them life lessons through the game of football, get a world-class education, uh, and, uh, you know, really promote uh, family. And for us as coaches, you know, that it just makes it a very inviting place to work. What we do in this profession is very difficult. Uh, as a profession, it's very demanding, and um, you know, for me personally, it doesn't feel like a job. You know, um, in, a, a large, in large part due to the environment that he creates, and uh, and uh, you know, he he fights for our players, he fights for the staff, he fights for this program every day uh, to make sure that we have everything that we need uh, to you know have the kind of fulfillment experience and a success that we would like and uh, but he's all, we're also fortunate to be supported you know by an administration and you know a board of uh, you know trustees and a president it's important and so um, you know couldn't ask for a better you know again place you know to, to work and certainly to play uh, to go to college you know just incredible and then the kind of support that you have here too, I think he just does a, a fabulous job of connecting to the community and to the fan base and to the administration, to the student body. There's just a very unique connectivity that's hard to replicate, and uh, just got an incredible, you know, leadership style. So some of it has to do with the culture and all that, but again, the things that you know he emphasizes that are important to him, and uh, it just appeals to it appeals to the masses. Mm -hmm. Thank you, right. Coach.